IPL photofacial is a great way to treat rosacea, acne, acne scars. So people that have active acne can really benefit from doing IPL photofacials. It also actually helps for rosacea and acne scarring. The scarring that looks a little bit red, usually that's because there's a lot of little teeny capillaries that are formed when the body has any damage like it would from acne and from pitting scars. Today, I'm so excited to have Piper Raquel coming in. We are on an acne journey with her. We started out by doing a bunch of extractions and I got a lot out of her face. And then I taught her a little bit about what products to use and how to keep her face clean, especially after having to put so much makeup on. So we had a little tutorial about that and she's got a great system now. What we're gonna do today, there are like little red scars going on. We are going to put some numbing cream on her face and then we're going to use the IPL photo facial. Have you had the facial done before? Yeah, the extractions. I've had it done twice. I honestly kind of enjoy the feeling. My friend's getting the, her like first one ever and she's like, it's going to hurt. I'm like, I don't know. I kind of enjoyed it. Like, That's okay, awesome. <laughs> The way that you can tell whether you have rosacea or whether your acne scars are from superficial vessels is you can push down on the skin and you'll hold it down for maybe 10 or 20 seconds. And when you lift up, if it goes from white like that to red, we know that that happens because little teeny capillaries on the surface of the skin, I'm pushing all the blood out of it right now. And then when I lift up, you'll see it goes from white to red. So those little capillaries are refilling. Like this is normal to have that. So when somebody has rosacea, what's going to happen is they're going to just have more, much more redness. And when they push down, it's going to take, it's going to refill really, really fast because they have so many more capillaries. The way you can really tell, first of all, only a doctor can really diagnose you. So this is by no means a way to diagnose yourself, but it can help. Notice when you get really embarrassed, do your, does your face flush? When you work out, do you notice that your face gets much more red than somebody else that might be working out next to you? When you get really hot or really cold, do you notice that you're, you have much rosier cheeks or nose? Um, those are kind of all the signs that you may have rosacea. Do you ever notice that when you're dancing or singing or working out that your cheeks get pretty red? Uh, yeah, they're extremely red right now because um, I guess I'm just kind of hot right now, but they're not usually this when red. She gets nervous. Oh yeah, when, my, when I get nervous, my whole body just literally just turns red. It's, red so, it's so terrible, I don't know why. Okay. Added bonus to IPL photo facial. It helps for that. Really? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And the way that it works is IPL, first of all, is it stands for intense pulsed light. It's interchangeable with the term photofacial. Both of these use a broad spectrum of light that's scattered throughout the skin, and that energy that, that is placed in the skin from the IPL is converted into heat, and that heat then kills acne-causing bacteria. We're gonna target, we're gonna use a certain wavelength that is appropriate to target the redness or the hemoglobin, and when we release that energy, it will heat up and it will constrict those vessels and it will actually make them not function anymore. And that's good because there's too many vessels. So there's different settings based on what you're trying to achieve. The person that's doing your procedure will know how to kind of fine tune it and tailor it to your needs. But the great thing about IPL photofacial is that it can be used for active acne, red acne pock marks. It can be used for rosacea. It can also be used for brown spots it just gives the skin a much more smooth tone and texture and I call it the magic eraser for your face so cute right you're gonna do our, can you do I look like I feel like a fly <laughs> <laughs> Although there's no cure for rosacea, IPL photofacials are a great treatment. There's other treatments also. There's some supplements like turmeric that can really help. These are all great things to do. And I actually used to have it. I've done many photofacials. They've made a real difference in my skin. I used to have more pigmentation and color in my skin. And ever since I started doing IPL photofacials and taking turmeric every day, it's really, really calmed down. 
Okay, so I'm going to put this really cold gel. This is ultrasound gel. It's just like a water-based gel. Oh and we're going to put it on your face to protect the skin. Since it's your first time getting this treatment, I'm not going to go too crazy. On three. Ready. One, two, three. Oh, okay, that wasn't terrible. <laughs> it was not? No. Good. I got really scared when I was that But it's bright, right? One, two, three. How's oh, no, it, it kind of just scares you, that's all. It's a little scary because it's so bright, right? Mm -hmm. It's like lightning flash. Okay, on three. Ready? One, two, three. Ugh. Shocking. On three. One, two, three. One more for good luck on each one. Good. We're all done. Yay. Okay, so <laughs> oh, scale yeah. of one to ten. Seven. Seven? Because, oh, okay, it wasn't painful. It just scared me a lot. Yeah. Because, like, I don't know, the light just, like, makes me feel some type of way. <laughs> <laughs> Acne is one of the hardest things that I deal with. I know it's very near and dear to my heart. I spent two years not going out of my house because I had such bad acne. It's a journey. There are so many things that it entails. First of all, it's extraction. Second of all, it is teaching and having people understand what products to use, how to wash their face, just little tips and tricks along the way to keep your acne at bay. For example, washing your makeup brushes and making sure that if you put product in your hair that it's your hair is not on the area where you're breaking out because that can definitely exacerbate it washing your pillowcases more often making sure that your phone is clean so it's a lot of education let me just tell you after you wash your hair and you condition it in the shower a little hack is to pull it up pull it up and then like scrub and rinse your back and your chest yeah i think you told me that one time I did, but, like okay. i didn't really listen that much <laughs> whoa <laughs> okay. just be honest uh, the next step is usually laser and then just maintaining with extractions but they should become much fewer and far between as the person that's suffering with acne gets more adept at dealing with it and understanding, you know, what things that they're doing, maybe inadvertently touching their face all the time and, you know, feeding those acne pimples. And so once they get better at learning what to do and what not to do, then I see them fewer and fewer times. And I would say that over the first two to three months of treatment is when we see the biggest change because those people that are suffering from acne, although most of them have been to the dermatologist, and gotten some prescriptions that may or may not have worked. I take a lot of time to really talk to them about their lifestyle and about things that they're doing that they can kind of modify that can help them forever in the long run to not break out as much. Now we are going to do the cooling face lace. This is super hydrating and it has medical grade niacinamide, which is really important for the barrier function of your skin. And it's gonna help you heal from the extractions and also from the laser. It'll give your skin some nice hyaluronic acid-based moisturizer so it's not greasy. It's really soothing. 